Hey friends, it's Moultrie with Rumble Lab. You may already know, but we're starting to do something new with our YouTube channel. Now, we're starting to travel around and invent stuff with kids just like you and documenting the process. Well, for this video, we were hanging out with our friend Loudon, and we thought we might take a boring old science fair project, you know, one of the boards you get from the Dollar Tree, and turn it into something much, much cooler, like a remote control airplane. Anyway, check it out. Before we get going, just a quick note on inventing. For inventing, you need to know that you have what it takes to figure it out. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out too. You just need to follow a few simple steps. What up, dog? What up? Yeah! You ready to do this? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Out for the dogs, coming in hot. Out. Like, do it again. Do it again. Five. Of all the steps, step three, it's our favorite. But this is what's tricking me. Yeah, it's actually really confusing. So when I first looked at these plans, I saw that they were pretty confusing. So instead of waiting until Loudon came over, I went ahead and tried them the night before to try and avoid any kind of hiccups. And good thing I tried because my first plane was an absolute failure. The biggest thing I learned is don't try and spray paint these airplanes. Something in the paint dissolves the styrofoam and will cause the plane to warp. So for our plane to work, we really needed three controls. We needed throttle, we also needed what you call an elevator, which makes the plane go up and down, and we needed rudder, which steers the plane left and right. And so here, Loudon's trying to figure out how to use a transmitter and a receiver to talk to one another, a speed controller to control the speed of the motor, and servo motors to control the elevator and the rudder. Now that we know what kind of controls we need, we're able to jump into cutting. Cutting was a little bit tricky, so we did it together. And now that we're cutting, we want to make sure that we're safe, because these blades are super sharp and we don't want to cut off our hand. For the elevator and the rudder, we only want to cut halfway through the foam. This is so the side with the paper still on it can act as a hinge. And then we beveled this edge so that it could pivot like this. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have everything cut, all we had to do was glue everything together. And we just use hot glue to do this. Again, be careful here. We want to practice safety because if you get hot glue on your hand, it's really miserable because it burns and you can't get it off. Once we got everything glued in place, we came back and put another bead of glue on it and then smeared it with a credit card. Then we figured out a way to mount our motor to it and we actually cheated. We used some parts from our friends at Flight Test. To control the elevator and the rudder, we cut some control horns out of the credit card that we used to smear the glue. Then to connect the elevator and the rudder to the servos, we use a control rod. A control rod is just a little metal rod and it actually makes what engineers call a four bar mechanism. Once we got our control rods hooked up to our elevator and our servo, we glued our servos in place. 
then you know just make a couple of holes and we're gonna use some rubber bands to attach our battery in place. Now all there's left to do is plug it in and try it out. Do the controls work? Mm -hmm. ah! Noise! Noise, boy! Oh yeah, and you can't forget the celebratory dance. So, now we got this plane, but you said you wanted to add a passenger to it. Will you tell us about your passenger? I'm going to put Jar Jar Binks. Why? What did George Hard do? Because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and so you want to put him on the plane somewhere? Right up front? Yeah. I like your style, my man. <laughs> he's like a hood ornament for the, for the plane. So what you doing, man? I want to glue him onto the plane. <laughs> this is like, just, this is what kids do to their least favorite. Ah! <laughs> 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 You're about stuck with Jar Jar forever. No, I'm not. <laughs> you, and you. You, and, you and Jar Jar are our most best friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> did you put more glue on it? I put, yeah. That should be like the cover photo. <laughs> That's it right there. So with the plane finished, it's time to go flying. Time to go flying. So when we first started flying, we were really bad and we crashed a lot. But we learned really quickly by crashing. It's kind of like inventing. When you first start inventing, you're gonna make mistakes. But as long as you learn from those mistakes, you're gonna make something better and better and better and better. Oh my God. <laughs> Put it there. Boom. So we just flipped the propeller around and now it flies. I guess we learned that the propeller direction matters. And you learned that I'm a better pilot. You are pilot definitely better. Than you. Definitely a better pilot than me. <laughs> so that crash you saw, our plane didn't exactly make it. And while we could probably fix it with a little bit of glue, we're gonna go ahead and make another one. And this time we're gonna do things just a little bit differently. Yeah. So, the plane, that was a lot of work, right? Yeah. Well, we have some friends who sent us this package and they're called Flight Test. And they have a YouTube channel. And what they do is they make what we just did earlier really, really easy. So, check it out. You can rip it open if you want. <laughs> so does that look like that might be a little bit easier? Yeah. But it doesn't, it will not hold Jar Jar Binks. Oh, we could totally make it hold Jar Jar Binks. Oh yeah. I think their plan is better operating than ours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they're professionals. So we just made one for the first time and they make these so that it's really easy. So we're gonna try again using the plane kit from Flight Test and we'll keep you posted on the process. But for now, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. We had an absolute blast making this video. And if you have an idea for something you'd like for us to help you invent, just drop a comment below. We might pick it and come invent it with you. And we would love it if you would give us a thumbs up, subscribe, show us some type of love. Lastly, we're looking for a few bright kids to join us on our mission to Mars. Hopefully that's you. If it is, you're gonna have to invent stuff to solve problems that came up while we're traveling around in space. You're gonna have to invent things like a hydraulic can crushing robot so you can crush cans in zero gravity. You also might have to invent an electric guitar or a paper airplane launcher. 
If you're interested in learning more, head on over to rumblelab.com slash mars. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a great day, and happy inventing.